This is a spiritual crystal card reading for Taurus for the month of August. So let's see what is your main energy. Taurus, and this is very nice, this is aventuring. That means the inner growth. Inner growth, heart chakra, um, wisdom of the heart, uh, wisdom in general. Aventuring is a very calming storm, I would say, calming, but also giving an inner reality, as I said, inner wisdom. It is inner wisdom, so concentrate. This month for you will be inner wisdom. Let's stay there and let's see more. So first week, it falls on its own. That is lovely. First week, and it's a diamond as well. So that means concentrate on the universal energy. So you see there are very strong cards just in the beginning. So the first week for you will be very strong. So I would say this is, I think, because of the aventuring there as a mainstream, it is really, it's really so in the first week you can achieve, how you say this, you can, you can become whatever you want. I would really say so the first week meditate and whatever you need whatever you information or or or, or whatever your heart desires but in spiritual way whatever you need is it's all there it's all there for you you just can tune in it's very strong very strong energy for you the first week in general the whole month but the first week is very strong so just tune in Tuning into the universal energy, and maybe to tune in into the universal love energy, you know. Take it all in and let it out. Be, be part of this stream. Very, very intense. So let's see second week. What's for you second week? Second week you have uh, iron. So iron is work. So I think maybe because of the first week you have all this intensity of energy, you can bring it into practice. You are grounding it. So bring into practice what has been come up to you in the first week. Third week. Third week of um, August. Well, it's a very, really, it's a very strong month for you. And this is Alexandrite. Alexandrite, that means um, it's again everything is possible so it's a question of time and it's a question of your aim it's also your focus your aim but also I would say even your belief because everything is only a, a, a programmation I would say so if you program something I'm not using the word desire, <coughs> excuse me, but program something in your thoughts, an aim that you would like, this is something that you would really like to, to have. Then when you do this, for example, it's very important that you are doing your programmation with uh, ending it for the higher, higher good that it is for the higher good for me, that it is whatever I desire, whatever I would like, if this is what I would like to happen, that this may happen, but only if it is good for me, only if it is in harmony with my higher self, in har harmony with my path. We don't want to waste time in programming things that afterwards is actually again something that won't be good or it's not happening like we want to happen it and also we are hanging again on something if we are programming something and we are hanging on the outcome so we are not hanging on the outcome this is here the third week we are not hanging, we are actually doing our programmation with only if it is good for us because we don't want to waste time we don't want to clean more karma and, and doing and, and again falling in something when it's not uh, what is something that we have to clean afterwards or that we have to work on it we just go for what is good for us because like this we are in our stream we are in harmony 
with our wisdom, with our inner wisdom. We are in harmony with God. We work on this. We set it free. We allow things to happen with the time and all if it is good for us. This is, this is like setting things free and be in the stream with time, with the universe, with God. So let's see what's happening on the fourth week. Fourth week of, um, of August. And this is a new beginning. It's fantastic. Dioptas. Dioptas. So here you are on a new beginning. It is really, this month for you, Taurus, it's, it's like, Taurus, sorry, Taurus. It's really like a stream of energy where it is just like being in this inner growth, being in this harmony with the universe. You work with it, then you allow time to make it, to make it as it has to be, and then you're ready for your new beginning. I said, wow, I really, this is something that I would like, you know, to have, a, a, this is fantastic. This is something like just sit in the stream, connect with your inner wisdom, allow the universe to be there. Just work on this, being harmony, being harmony with your karma, with time and everything. And it's happening. The new beginning is there. So you don't have to force anything. Just let it happen. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. Wow, what a nice month. So let's see. Let's see what's the message of the angels for you, for Taurus. Here, this is very interesting because they are saying to you it's something completely different, but not so different. Here you have Amazonite. And this can be seen in uh, Amazonite. What am I saying? Yeah, Amazonite. This is, can be seen in different things. First of all, it is like, be your true self. Don't pretend to be somebody that you are not. So, because connect with your inner wisdom, find this true self. You are actually a spark, a sparkle. You are a piece of the light. You are, we are all a piece of this light. We are all a piece of God. Because it are only words, actually. It even doesn't, doesn't mean anything what I'm saying. It is just blah, blah, blah. It's just energy. It's just words. We are all part of this. The only thing you have to do is to allow to be part of this. And you will see it will resolve all your problems. If you are heartbroken, if you have sadness in you, if you have um, things that don't happen for you, just be this sparkle of light. Just be this light being. Just be aware who you are. Be aware that you are a part of the whole thing, that we are all part of this one. And then I think all your problems will be gone so that you are ready for this new beginning. So let loose and be yourself. Be your true self. Speak your inner truth. Whatever you have to say, say it from the heart. It is very important that you are yourself. That you are not pretending to be somebody because the society has been molding you in a certain way and you know that it is not your way but you have still to acknowledge your true self so that you can be this splendid being as we all are. So be, be you. Be your true self. That's wonderful. So go with the stream and everything will happen. Thank you for watching. I first of all want to thank you all for your positive comments. I'm sorry I'm not answering. I have a lot of work. I'm quite busy. But um, I thank you and I read them all. Thank you very much. And uh, for, for if you would like a personal spiritual crystal card reading, you can uh, reach me through my website or my email. And otherwise, thank you very much and enjoy. Enjoy and be you. Thank you. Bye-bye.